Dear number crunchers, mixed numbers, improper fractions, what are these? Are they the same thing? Any help would be highly appreciated. Yours, Katrina, from Sully Hull. Let's take a bar that represents one whole and split it into four equal parts. Each part is a quarter. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Hmm, what if I want more than four quarters? Well, I need to draw another hole and split that into quarters. Here we have five quarters. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Here is an improper fraction, five quarters. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. Another thing we could do is say, well, four quarters is a whole. So here we have one whole and one quarter, and that is a mixed number. That's where you have a whole number and a proper fraction, such as one and one quarter. Here we have five fifths or a whole and an extra three fifths, altogether eight fifths, and that's the improper fraction. Or we could say that five fifths at the top, well, that's a whole. So we have one whole and three fifths, and that is the mixed number. In this example, eight fifths and one and three fifths are worth the same amount, but just different ways of writing them. So how can we change from one to the other? Let's take a look. To go from an improper fraction to a mixed number, first of all, divide the numerator by the denominator, and that will get you the number of holes. In this example, we have eight divided by five, which gives me one with a remainder of three. The remainder gives you the numerator of what's left over. We had eight fifths, five of them became one whole, and the extra three becomes our proper fraction of three fifths. If you want to go from a mixed number to an improper fraction, first of all, multiply the whole number by the denominator. Here we have one times five to give you five fifths, and then we have to add that onto the proper fraction, which was three fifths, which gives you a total of eight fifths. Let's look at a couple more examples. Four and two thirds, I wanna change that to an improper fraction. I take my whole number and times it by the denominator. Four times three gives you 12. And then we add that 12 to the numerator to give you 14. That means four and two thirds is the same as 14 thirds. Let's go the other way, 25 quarters. We need to do 25 divided by four to see how many holes we can get. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. Can't go any further because I'll go past 25. So it goes in six times with one left over. So that means you will have six as your whole number and that one left over means your proper fraction is one quarter. So 25 quarters is equal to six and one quarter. Okay, hope that helps. Good luck.